Today we're going to look at scientific notation using significant figures and these little diagrams over here will give you some idea of what we're going to be doing today. So how do we go about finding significant figures? If we look at example A we have the number 365 and we need to determine how many significant figures we've got. So the rule is start counting at the first non-zero digit. Well, we don't have any zeros here, so therefore I can start counting there. So that'll be 1, 2, 3. So therefore, I have three significant figures. All right, well, have a look at number B and try and determine how many significant figures we have in this number over here, remembering that we start counting from our first non-digit number. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. Well, using the rule where we only start counting after the first non-zero digit, which would be this one over here, we therefore have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Therefore, we have four significant figures. All right, and the last one we're going to look at is scientific notation. The important thing here is to realize that we don't need to concern ourselves too much about that. And these over here are our significant figures with the first significant figure to the left of the decimal point. So we'll have one, two. And therefore we have two significant figures. Right, well let's do some practice writing numbers using scientific notation, and in this case to three significant figures. All right, well looking at example A, the first thing we need to do obviously is write it in scientific notation. So put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. All right, well, you should have this as your answer. However, we've been asked to write it to three significant figures. So looking at our number, we have one, two, three, four significant figures in this case. So what do we do about that? Well, all we do is we look at our fourth digit over here and determine whether or not this is greater than or equal to five. So in fact, we are going to round it. Is it? No, it isn't. So therefore, this can simply become a zero. So if we looked at our number over here, this four could in fact become a zero. And our answer therefore would be 3.42 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. And that would be our answer. All right, we'll have a look at question B and see if you can write it in scientific notation. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is write it in scientific notation. So it's going to be 4.838 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. However, I need to make it three significant figures. Therefore, that 8 is greater than 5. So I'm going to add 1 to the 3 over there. So my answer is actually going to be 4.84 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. And that should be your answer. All right, last one. Give this one a go. And remember to write it to three significant figures. Off you go. All right, well, in order to arrive at my answer, I've just rewritten it in scientific notation. However, I do need to write it in the format of three significant figures. So looking at my digits over here, I have one significant, two, and three. However, I need to look at my fourth to determine if that is greater or smaller than 5, and in this case it is greater than. So what I need to do is I need to add 1 to that 4 over there. So I have 1.85 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3, and that would be my answer. Alright, well that is scientific notation using significant figures.